Okay, folks, welcome back to another comment video. Tonight is Wednesday night, and uh, it's fairly slow in my market. I mean, I've gotten some orders. I made almost $50, but, like, I came on at um, 3.30, so that's three hours in, you know? And I had to decline a bunch of crazy orders, so with that said, a couple of good ones came in or whatever, you know? <laughs> it's kind of casual. When I I get a little uh, more hardcore through Thursday through Sunday, and those are the days that I try to work the long hours. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm not working as hard as I used to anymore because it's not worth it. There's too many drivers, not enough people ordering food, and it's the you know the summer spring slowdowns coming in 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 this week for my uh, area. And look at this, folks. I've been getting one after another from Uber like this. $3.30 for 5.5 miles. I'm going to be doing, a, hopefully, another uh, updated um, updated Uber video showing you all the crazy orders. Like, I, I took one order from Uber Eats in probably three weeks. Um, and it was, it was like a $10 order and ended up being $15 or whatever, something like that. But anyways... Um, let me get back into the comments here. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Um, so I wanted to read these. And, uh, you know, it's been uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday just sucks, you know. Um, but it is what it is. All right. So uh, first comment is from Tim Slaughter. How are you, Tim? He said, I would definitely not know <clears throat> about Priority, Large, Top, or any other slavedom. <laughs> However... It does seem if my acceptance rate goes from 5% or below, which is usually is, to 10% or above, I see the difference in the order quality. But that could just be because it's busier. Um, he also says, and in any event, for about five years, we've had the ability to shape our future with this work, but choose not to. We've actually gone backwards. And Brian, I have to tell you, I have an Italian place that also is my favorite merchant. Good orders. Don't have to wait too much. Pretty girls, great food, invitation to parties. They have free food and coffee. And frankly, if it wasn't for this place, I would have quit this nonsense long ago. <laughs> I hear you. There's always that one or two, um, you know, merchants that are really high quality and good customers. And that's basically why I always come over to this Italian restaurant that I sit in there um, waiting for deliveries, you know. And, uh... Like I said, the last video I made, it was talking about acceptance rate and high priority. None of that matters in my market anyways. You're still going to get orders, but you're going to, you know, when there's a lot of people, you're going to get them a lot slower. But if you are in the large order program, even though I don't like to be in that, I wish everyone could get the large orders. I, it shouldn't be a program they put you in. But that does save you once in a while because you'll get, you know, a higher paying order, which is great. Um, now, Thomas, uh, and by the way, thank you so much, Tim, Tim, for that great, excellent comments, kind comments, great. Thomas Schubeck says, thanks for all you do for this community, Brian. God bless you, my brother. Hey, man, God bless you. I, I'm, I'm so glad, Thomas, that you, uh, you've stepped up to, um, to doing, you know, a, a little bit on your channel and things like that, because, you know, you, you yourself, any of you individuals that do that, you, I'm not saying everyone has to do it, but the ones that do, it's awesome because you get a good perspective from you guys, and it's nice to hear from, from you, you know, it really is. Thank you for what you do, Thomas, if to bring us information and all this stuff that you've done over the past well over a year, if not longer. I don't know if you were here from the very beginning, but you know, I, I can't believe I look back and I go, wow, two years has gone by, over two years, you know, it's nuts. Um, LGRW, um, he says, uh, hold on one second. LGRW says, holy shit, my area, they just made a new offer screen. Doesn't tell you how many items. Yes, that's what, I, oh, look at this, look at this beauty coming in, folks. $2 for 3.8 miles from Burger King. This is the trash. This is the trash that I have to put up with every day on, on this app. It's just insane. <laughs> it's crazy, folks. It's crazy. Um, so, 
isn't it crazy, LGRW, that like similarly to like all of us, like we're all experiencing the same, the same thing. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you an example of that. Let me go into my screenshot to show you what it looks like in my, in my market. Okay. Okay. So look at all these crazy screenshots real quick. $3.30, 210, 340. 1849 for 22 miles 16 these are ones i never took 1668 that 1668 became the 1849 because they knew no one was going to take it they tried to lowball you look at this one 569 for 11 miles 602 for nine i mean it's crazy oh this was the uh this was i was mentioning in the last video i gave a shout out to gig media with gig geezer look at his acceptance rate does not matter on tony's app <laughs> 5% acceptance rate, 90% completion, 91 on time early. I mean, <clears throat> if that doesn't tell you how how it doesn't matter, I don't know what does. All right, so let me show you an example of the orders that, um, let's see, that don't have, uh, okay, look at, look at this, okay? This is the new order screen. Now, this was one that I declined earlier. It was 625. I was on the highway anyways. If I had got off, I would have had to backtrack. So, But I screenshotted this. Do you notice anything different about this, <coughs> the screen? <coughs> Pardon me. At first, I thought it was the, the timer that goes off. There was no timer, but it's on the accept screen. You see it? <coughs> but you notice what's different about this? There's no items. It's not showing you item counts. Now, do you know why they do that, folks? They do that because they know that if if a lot of people are, are turning their nose up to these 625, 675 orders with one, with one item on them because they don't have a tip. But let's say it's 10 items at 675. There's probably a hidden tip, right? I mean, this is why we need transparency. And in Colorado, it looks like they're going to be getting that pretty soon, folks. Transparency on, on, on all the gig apps, at least for there. But uh, he says, yeah, so holy shit, they made a new offer screen. Doesn't tell you how many items. This is absolutely bullshit. I've already unassigned four orders today because I accepted it only to find out that it had a subtotal of $10 or less and had no chance of turning it into any money. I know, isn't it sad that that happens, like... I, I mean, I refuse, I refuse to take any two, three, four, and five dollar orders anymore. I just don't do it. The only way I would take it if it was a five dollar order and it was a Dunkin' Donuts and it's literally, you know, half mile away, but it would, I would have to go in, immediately get the order and leave. That's about the only way I'll do it. Now I don't take any of that. And at night, my standards are way higher. Like I'm, I'm going for ten dollars and up for a couple of miles or whatever if it's if it's five or more miles i try for the 20 dollar ones you know that's that's all you can do uh let's see jose mercedes says hey man i recently was in augusta maine for a mini vacation i decided to turn the apps on just to be curious bro the people out there in augusta maine just are just as cheap and i'm sorry i can guarantee these people have cars in most parts of Maine, you need a car. Oh, yeah, there's 100% right. I go up to Maine a lot, actually, to vacation in the summer times and stuff. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah, it's it's terrible, isn't it? Um, thanks for that, that uh, information, uh, Jose. Tim Slaughter says, uh, this was on the full gig transparency. This was from yesterday. He says, um, does anyone think... They won't come up with something to circumvent any new laws and still manage to screw the drivers. Uh, so he says, don't get me wrong, hidden hidden tips have been a horrible thing for the business. Uh, let's see, just for, just for drivers, but so for the tipping customers, but I'll expect more manipulation of the algorithm or accomplish the same thing uh, the hidden tips did. Um, let's see, mileage... And really, the rest of the information pre presented is generally complete and accurate. Occasionally, a mileage error, including add-on orders, and I say zero additional fee, but it's actually extra, extra miles, uh, LOL. But just like any earned by time, it's not really going to change things drastically. DoorDash just needs to work on base pay, but they won't because drivers tell them they they don't uh, they don't buy take. They don't by taking junk. Another good video, Brian. Well done. Thank, thank you very much. Shout out to uh, 
to ride share prof- professor for that for that um report by the way you know it was really really good um and thank you for that um let's see wildflower 2022 hey wildflower i haven't seen you in a while how you doing Jeez, it's been a while. Uh, let's see the day these the I'm sorry the day these companies have to show both employees and customers transparency is the day I go under. <laughs> they uh, that they go under <laughs> the theft they have perpetrated on customers and employees. Uh, well, you mean cust- yeah customers and employees yeah because we are employees w- without benefits is how they kept their wallets fat. If they aren't allowed to steal from you, they'd rather close their doors. And you know something? <coughs> Wildflower 2022, I could not agree with you more. And you know why? Because they, when they threatened out in California to bring in that AB5 uh, law or whatever, DoorDash and Uber threatened to like leave the state and just like get up and leave and go somewhere else, right? Because they were trying to overturn it. I mean, that goes to show you how much theft, corruption, tyranny, manipulation of the apps is going on. I mean, it's re- it's utterly ridiculous. And um, we need to spread the word to the, to the new people too. But the problem is, I don't want to see any new people come on. We have plenty of drivers. We don't need any more. And these companies are just hiring one after another. They could, they could care less. Um... That's how they're going to shut us out of our own markets, by just watering everything down. <clears throat> William Joseph, 98, says uh, they actually, they're getting paid four different ways. He says 25 to 30% of the restaurant's total sale on the mail, the customer's service delivery fees to use the app, the inflated food pricing, ordering through the apps, and stealing from the drivers. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's really, there's only two ways. Two, I'm, I'm sorry, there's three ways, but it really comes from the merchant and the customers. So they they are stealing from us because the tips that go to us, they steal or half steal or sometimes they'll steal it all and you won't even know. But yeah, I agree with you. Good comment, William. Um, Thomas Schubeck says, I haven't had a day off in about three weeks, so I'm going to take some time off for uh, some rest and relaxation the next days and go back on Thursday. Um, that's cool. Um Thomas says, did a DoorDash order for $7.25 going 12 miles in an absolutely lifeless dead zone? I have a lot of them around here. At 6 a.m., no tip. I was livid. Uh, Hold on. Look at this. This is a trip radar request. Look at this, folks. While I'm doing this video, $3.07 for 3.8 miles. This is what I, and this is the same Burger King order, by the way. This is what I have to deal with every, every time I go go online with uber it's it's a joke it's literally a joke and i re- i believe i i don't know this for sure but i believe that they're sending those those deliveries out just to piss everyone off so they'll just get you know angry and just quit doing the apps you know then they'll just leave it you know that's what that's what i feel i don't know if that's true but i mean they'd rather get one of the rid of the ones that don't want i mean imagine that like even a new person how can you feel good about taking a three dollar item especially when they want you to go really far and everything it's it's freaking crazy so it's nuts you know so thomas schubeck uh says uh what else did he say he said who the f gets food delivered 12 miles away at 6 a.m and doesn't tip are you out of your f in mind and believe me that's how i feel half the time too or most of the time you know I get it. Uh, he says, then turned around in the yard and blasted my horn. You know what? I don't blame you. I'm still seeing, I'm still seething with rage. I'll be taking the next couple of days off to get my head straight. I'm just, I'm fuming right now. I know. It's it's ridiculous. And um, see, this is where it comes into what I was trying to talk about before about um, mandatory minimum tips. I mean, you know what's crazy? These gas and electric companies, right, like in when you order your uh, utilities for your house, some of them have mandatory, mandatory minimum uh, fees that they charge you even if you don't even use their service. Banks charge you ATM fees. The whole system is rigged against us. But the companies do nothing to help us. If you have a company that's willing to steal from you, manipulate you, 
put you in all these paradigms and all of these programs. Do you think they care one iota whether we get paid from a customer the tips? They get pissed when the customer tips, especially if we get cash. They don't like that either. You know, let me see the review the four replies. Um, oh, uh, he says, uh, oh, I remember more now that I, I have calmed down a little bit. I also said that I had a terrible day. You're a bad person. Oh, oh, man. Uh, let's see. I also, <laughs> oh, ha yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Telling the customer that. Yeah. So Nate Javel says, uh, damn, that's insane, man. I'm sorry that happened to you. I would have been pissed off to uh, going that far. These companies are scummy to not compensating the drivers who go that far deep to drop off, um, which is ridiculous. And it's sad how customers aren't considerate of driving coming from a far distance. Some people have no heart whatsoever. Now, let me let me expunge on that. So in my market, it's, it's I have to drive sometimes long distance too out of zone and it sucks right but i'll do it for the right price but the thing is that we don't get any additional money for the long distance and doordash always said they were always going to pay us more money for long distance right but they what they do okay hold on one second i'm not taking that one either seven dollars for eight miles no way so um <clears throat> so they they charge the customer the additional you know 10 15 bucks but they don't give one dime to the to the driver they rip the drivers off so uh you know what i mean they, they it's crazy like we I, i'm telling you something's gonna break folks the the community can't put up with this crap anymore but what 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 I feel that will happen is the companies will will go bankrupt or out of business before they have let anyone sue them for any substantial money. You know what I mean? They'll just claim bankruptcy and say, okay, see ya, right, after they've stolen billions from everyone. Clocks, how you doing, Clock? He says, first off, why did they take 725, why did you take a 725 going 12 miles uh, backward order? Well, sometimes... There's different reasons why people will take different deliveries. Like to start you out, you know, you might figure, okay, I'll maybe I'll go in, a, in an area where I've never been, and then you get there and it's not good. And I agree, but like sometimes you take a chance. Sometimes people say, well, it might be a hidden tip in there, and it sucks when there isn't. And that's what the downfall of it is. But we all, you know, we all learn our lessons and stuff. I, I, hey, I've done it. We've all done it, right, folks? Crazy Snake Lady 78, she says, I gave up on 2,000 a week challenge, needed life too. I, I like to cook, hike, long walks, go fishing, among other things, care for my three cats. Oh, wow, you have three cats. That's cool. I, I had three cats. I'm down to one. My little bye-bye. He's, oh, he's my joy, my life, you know. And other pets, I'm happy, uh, uh, I'm happy is can make 800 a week. Uh, does not always happen. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Crazy snake. I mean, I know it's nuts. Um, I'm, I'm ha look. I'm happy if I if I could make a thousand, but I can survive off eight hundred. I can survive eight seven eight hundred, but I haven't been making that. I've been making five and six hundred a week. <laughs> That's how bad my market is. Dustin Pierce, he says, I like how you read comments, something different, cool. Oh, thanks, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, you know what's funny? I've been doing this really since my channel started, and, and you know, because I just feel that you guys are owed, owed a lot in this community, and you, hold on, look at this, 405 for 3.8. You see how consecu consecutively, folks, I'm not getting anything good from Uber, nor am I getting anything from, from DoorDash right now. It is Wednesday night, but, it, you know, it's a nice day. Some people have gone out to eat out, you know, or whatever, or just eating in or cooking out on their, on their you know, hibachi grills or whatever. Um, so, anyways, Dustin, he, you, you're welcome about the comments. I mean, I've been doing it for a while, and... You know, I haven't had the times to do live streams, and I don't really have a full setup to do live streams and stuff. And I don't, I just don't have the time. But I told you guys I would make time this summer, and I'm going to. Um, I, I'll definitely let you know when I pull some live streams. You guys are owed that. Plus, I want to get a few of you in to like do a, you know, a, uh, basically a nice long chat video about a whole bunch of different subjects. You know. <laughs> 
So I'll let you guys know when that happens. Anyways, Edgar Hernandez says, last week I ended at 12.52. So he's saying 1,052. I'm sorry, 1,252 in 46 dash time, 29 active hours, um, and 113 deliv deliveries. Yeah, wow. You, but you see the difference between the, the, the dash time is really high and the active time is, is almost, not half, but it's like leagues apart. It sucks, right? That's what happens to me a lot, too. I have a Twitter account if you ever want to st uh, steep, ro steep roof and screenshots. No, I believe you, brother. I mean, uh, you, listen, I believe you. You don't, you don't have to, but yeah, I mean, it's cool. Um, I, I expect my my subscribers and my listeners to be truthful. Why would you not want to be? Like, because people no, will know if you're lying. You know what I mean? They just, they can tell. They know. So thank you. And uh, so Bruce says, do you ever read comments that challenge you? Oh, yes. All the time. I would love, you know, Bruce, send me a thousand comments. I'll read all of them. Ask me the most challenging and difficult uh, comments that you've ever had. If you, uh, you know, I should probably give out a prize like a hundred or two hundred dollar prize to the person who asked me the most challenging and difficult uh, comment. Yeah, bring them on. You know, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something out of my own personal money, because I don't make any money on this channel or anyone, which is fine, because that's not why I ever did this channel. You see, I'm honest. I'm truthful. I'm a man of my word, and I have integrity, and I love Jesus Christ, and that's why He makes it all possible here for me now. Let me review the replies. So Thomas says, yeah, he does. If you actually watch the channel, you would know who Tom Young is. <laughs> Good one. You must be new. Now, uh, oh, you, William Joseph says you must be new. Yeah, I don't know how long Bruce has been on here. But, you know, listen. Hey, it's fine. You know, um, am I, I mean, first of all, I'm not on, I, I'll never be able to, to please everyone on this channel some people don't like my channel because of the nature of it, because I'm exposing people, you know, channels, uh, gig apps, things that are really highly involved in, in screwing the community and the people. And I'm trying to make it better so we can change all of that and giving you guys solutions. People say, oh, all you do is sit and complain in your car and you, right? That's not true. I've given you guys hundreds and thousands of solutions over the course of the two years. If you just listen to what I have to say in the videos, you, you, you would get that. But a lot of people don't want anything. Everyone wants everything easy. They want everything to just be, you know, or catered to them or, you know, entitled of, of something. I mean, Yes, there's a majority of people that will go out and fight for people. I'm one of those. I'm a leader. I'm a person who will stand up for you, right? But you need to look in the mirror yourself. Any one of you, you know, just look in the mirror and say, geez, what can I do to better the day? What can I do to better my situation, my life, my friends, my family? The gig, gig work app is because we're uh, uh, the gig app workers, Oh, man, what am I, dyslexic here, saying something backwards? Holy Moses, I must be tired or something. <laughs> but, no, the thing is, is, um, you know, we got to do the best we can, you know, and um, that's all we can do. Uh, but we need solutions, and I'm always up for uh, opinions, facts, solutions from you guys, too. Uh, let's see, Richie805, uh, nice to see you, brother. He says, be careful with the dirty apping, Brian. Don't get contract violations and get deactivated. Yeah, I know. Um, I I try to stay. I'm not really a dirty apper. I'm not. But occasionally you take chances, you know, and sometimes, you know, it's borderline. But, you know, I agree. I'm not into that. I want people to have, I want, like, if someone ordered food, I want it to get nice and hot to them and, and on time and, and early, you know. So, yeah, thank you, Richie. I appreciate that because I, I take your advice, brother. Uh, RB says, that's where you are wrong. I was on the, I was on the after, I was on the app after a whole week and I wasn't getting no orders. Hmm. That's where you're wrong. I was on the app after a whole week and I wasn't getting orders. I don't know what you're referring to here because I said, that was a comment video. Look at this one, folks, coming in. Look at this. $2.22 for 4.2 miles. Do you, do you, I mean, do you guys, like, I'm. this is as I'm doing, 
It's popping up as I'm doing the comments. Unbelievable. You see what I'm talking about? Uh, could you let me know what you meant? Because it was a Monday comment video, and I talked about a lot in there. So I don't know. But anyways, Richie also says, even though Easter is a pagan holiday, I think it is a day to celebrate the resurrection of Christ. Well, yeah, in your heart, yes, Richie, definitely. I mean, right? But that's not the day that he that he was resurrected. It's It's been turned into... If you... You should, I've done videos on that. I actually posted them. I think I posted it on my DoorDash Sucks channel too. Um, but I have it over at Waking Up the Sheep. Um, all of the holidays have been really pagan. Um, you know, uh, Christmas and New, and, you know, they're all pagan. But I, that's, that's for another video, okay? Uh, LGRW says, if you're going to remove your tip, you should, uh, and while I'm sitting here talking, I've been sitting here waiting for a delivery to come through, right? And a guy's going in right now to the restaurant. And when he comes out, folks, I'm going to try to get this guy on video without him knowing. I'm just going to ask him a question. I'm going I'm to ask him, hey, you a Dasha? He went in, and I've been sitting here for 20 minutes without getting any chateaus or nothing, okay? I'm sitting right in front of the, because I'm doing the comment video. So when he walks out, folks, I'm going to do it. So let me continue reading. If you're going to remove your tip, you should have to, have to provide actual proof that the driver messed up. And doesn't deserve it, the tip. When I first started DoorDash, I spilled someone's soup and I didn't know what to do because I was new. I ended up taking a picture of the door and walking away before they could confront that. I ruined their order. In, that, in a case like that, I agree with you. You should be able to remove your tip, but only if you can actually prove. Hold, hold, hold on. Here's the guy right now. <clears throat> hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? Good. I, I just want to know, you, did I talk to you before? Did yeah, I meet you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, hey, what's your acceptance rate now? Is it up? Yeah. Up there like 90s, 100s? Yeah, yeah. You notice how many drivers they put on in the, in the area um, recently? Uh, no. There's thousands now. Every, I, I, I talk to everyone now, right? And then nine out of 10, they'll all go, I'll go, hey, I'm Brian. And, oh, hi. Are you, are you a Dasher? I'm like, yeah, are you? Yeah, I just got on last week. Oh, they geez. just hired oh. like so many. It's like, you know how the summer goes, man, right? You know how it is. It's, but it's gonna be worse this how summer. You making out? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay because I'm in the large order program and yeah. stuff. But I'm on. I do other apps too, Instacart okay. and Uber and stuff. But Uber's been sucking so bad, man. Really good. Right. Really. They can't find nobody. Yeah, but they, they, like I'm getting two dollars and twenty two cents, four forty two. It sucks. What's your name again? Uh, Tony. Yeah, Brian. Good, good to see you. I just wanted to check in with you because I, I hadn't seen you in a while, and I'm like, I was sitting here for a little while, and I didn't get anything, and I noticed you. So, your your acceptance rates up what up in the 90s or so? In the 80s. Okay, 80s. Okay, but I had a friend here that had was like at nine percent, ten percent, right? That was at 76 percent with large order and stuff, and they gave they gave it to him. It's so crazy. It's like. So ass backwards, you know. Good to see you, man. Nice to chat with you. All right, so folks, um, oh, hold on, he's gonna drive off. Okay, that guy's name was Tony, and uh, when I when I walked up to the car, I he looked familiar because I had talked to that guy before. Now he said he's in the high 80s. Okay, now I'm at 27 percent. I told you before, acceptance rate doesn't really matter here. Uh, but the thing is, it there can be flukes. There can be things. I Like I just told him, my friend Pat, 10 percenter, sits here. He's in the large order program, but he's been on. My friend Pat was on for f over four years. And, and I was here many times when I was in the high 60s, 70s. And he would get an order way before me. I told you that in other videos. But, you know, anything can happen. Also, there's, there, we, no, one knows the, no one knows the algorithm, right, folks? No one really knows it. But, you know, if someone's been sitting around and not making any money and some other people are, then the algorithm could pick up on that and say, oh, let's send one over to this guy. So there's a lot of variables. You have to remember that in market specific. Here's another guy coming out with a delivery, too. Um, <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Oh boy, let me ask him. Uh, 
Yeah. How you doing, brother? Yeah, we doing Good. You doing DoorDash? Yeah, we're just customer pickup. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. I, oh, I, it, I, okay. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah. So, um, the uh, the people that I thought this guy, some of these bags and everything that are um, mocked, they all look kind of the same. Look at this one, folks, coming in. Two dollars and fifteen cents for four point two miles. This is insane. This is insane. I was just telling. I was just telling the guy. You heard me say it to him. I hope. Hopefully, you heard that conversation, because I didn't want the guy to know that I was recording him. I kind of had the phone next to me. But anyways, um, like these people that come up here, like the, everyone looks kind of the same. So I have to. I always jump out of the car and try to talk to people. You know. All right. So. He said, back to LGRW, he says um, what he said about spilling the drinks and all of that. Now, here's the thing. Um, well, I spilled someone's coffee before, but I ended up actually giving him $5. I had cash on me, and I, I told the lady, listen, I spilled your drink. I'm sorry, and I gave her $5 cash back, and she was happy with that. But I ended up losing, you know, it was a $12 order, so I got, you know, six something out of it or whatever it was. Um, good comment, LGRW. Uh, hey, George27 says, my girl and I had Japanese steakhouse to ourselves the entire evening last night, about 5 to 7. They seem, uh, they may have had the Togo orders, to go orders, but man, I felt bad for the only waitress. Left her 23 on 62, wanted to leave more, but Michelle stopped me. She got the, you know something? Hey, George27, you are a gentleman a scholar and a, a great person to do that. And you know, I do that all the time because when I'm in a restaurant, if the, if the person's taking care of me and they're very pleasant and they serve me, they're going to get an excellent tip. And my minimum is basically 30, a 30% tip. That's minimum, Thir oh, even 35. But I've gone, I've actually gone as high as 100%. I've given a 100% tip. And boy, what a smile you could put on someone's face, you know. But I mean, times are tough right now. So, you know, I can't do that. If I can't afford a restaurant, then, I mean, if I can't afford to tip a person good tip, then I'm not going to go to the restaurant, period. Uh, Edgar Hernandez says, uh, I don't know, man, you waited very long for that one big order, like 30 minutes in my market. In a time I could have had done, let's see, I could have done two, maybe three, and getting over 10 bucks each. I used to think just like you and not want to raise my acceptance rate because I was still seeing good orders. But once I got over 70, I seen the difference even at 50, but not as much. I Well, okay, Edgar, that's fair to say, but you're in your market. In my market, it's completely different than yours. Absolutely, completely opposite. Opposite. Total opposites. Except once in a while, like in that rare case that that guy that that you just heard. Look at this. Look at this, folks. 318 for 8.2 miles. You know, I'm glad I'm doing this while I'm while I'm reading these comments. This is how it how it is continually all day long. I won't even get a good order, folks. It's all trash. It's all trash that Uber sends. Um, you know, so. I don't care whether I have to sit for a whole hour. I'd rather sit for an entire 59 minutes or let's say 49 minutes, okay, and get a 1750 going two miles rather than trying to take three, three different ones because I'm putting more miles on my car rather than doing it the other way. But, hey, everyone's different, everyone's specific. Um, that's cool if you like it. Um, he says, what I do is accept bad orders, then unassign them after so many... So my AI goes up and st it stays up. Oh, that's cool. Hey, everyone has a system. My system works. Maybe your system works the way you do it. Uh, Tim Slaughter says, I never bought into progr a program mentally strictly because it is bad philosophy business-wise. We ultimately need to drive these prices up because they're ridiculous. And, and, and what a nice cue into what I just talked about when we were talking about Uber, when I showed you the Uber things, as I'm doing this, this comment video, I'm sitting in this front of this restaurant and I have yet to get one from the Chateau. Isn't it crazy? Um, let's see. <clears throat> the apps know they are pitting us against each other and that's their goal. Yep. Divide and conquer. I talked about that in the other video on my other channel. Remember that? 
once again, we let them win. The cheap customers win. The drivers and good tipping generous customers lose. Sound good? But the reality is you basically need to get on board with taking crap orders or not, or you're not going to get anything but crap offers. Does that mean I'll get on board? No, that means I'm very close to be done with this. And that's that's not a bad thing. Everything happens for a reason. That's important to understand in life. No, I agree with you, man. And I've said to people, and here's another person pulling up. I wonder if this is just a regular person or not. Hi, Chris. How are you? <laughs> Taking another break? Cool. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's one of the workers inside. Um, okay. Okay. This person that's going in, I think, is just a regular customer. Uh, because they're not, they don't have a phone with them, so they're just picking up an order. Um, okay, so let me continue here. This is nuts. It's seven o'clock, and I haven't got anything in in well over thirty minutes, or forty minutes, I think, something like that. Because I was still sitting before I started this video. Uh, okay, tree tree herder says, when people elect a president that has handed one point two inflate handed 1.2 inflation and turns it into 10% inflation and raises gas prices to 5 and 6 per gallon. The people who have lost their 401ks because of a set, set inflation aren't going to spend the extra money for the convenience of getting their food delivered. I totally agree with you, Tree Herder. You're, you're nailing it on the head just as I, if you've been on this channel for a while, I don't know if you have, but I've been saying this in, in a lot. I said, why are people going to order anything when the, when the economy's bad? No one's going to be doing it. They're going to be, you know, getting food cheap, as cheaply as they can and and then cooking in and not eating out, eating out less. Uh, the market is saturated because the VAXX mandates too. I can't say that word. Uh, yep, uh, that's right. You, you, I talked about this from the beginning of my channel, why most people jumped on DoorDash and all of these things that, whereas regular people would, uh, people who had like, really good jobs would never ever had ever got into the gig economy but they got into it because they were forced into it because they didn't want to go along with the mandates and stuff that's part of it definitely um i have an important video coming up soon folks G gonna be on my gig apps exposed uh channel you definitely don't want to miss it because i'm critiquing a video that has to do with poisoned food and water and things like that so just keep an eye out for it. You're gonna, you're gonna have to. You, please watch it. It's so important. Okay. Um, let's see. People lost their jobs for not wanting it, so they started. They had to start gigging just to eat. This is what is meant by elections have consequences. And I hate being political, but this is the entire issue. So, thank the Biden voter. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I agree a thousand percent with you, Tree Herd. As a matter of fact. I'm going to pin your comment because it was an excellent comment. And uh, he says when people, oh, oh, wait a minute, let's see. Okay, I think you might have, yeah, you might have posted it twice. But I, I, hey, I seen it and that's why I read it for you guys. Clock says, I tried to work yesterday, but it was so slow I had to come home. Yeah, isn't that sad? Isn't, isn't that sad when that, when that happens, you know? It's nuts. Uh, Storms 4 says, I've been in the gig economy for almost three years now. I started out as a rideshare driver first. I came out to work on Easter thinking it was going, let's see, uh, let's see, thinking it was going to be busy, but most of the restaurants were closed. Yep, that's what happened to me. Easter, Easter sucked. Uh, I would have stayed home if I knew that, but Due to the lack of inexperience with delivery, I went out and wasted some fuel and I could have been home. Yeah, it kind of happened to me too, although I did get two decent ones, but I got I only made uh, like 50 bucks, and then after that, it was the end of it. Nate Javel, I think I'm near the end of the comments here. <clears throat> oh, let me see the replies here. The replies are Jay Sanders says, I took East, Easter off expecting that. Door dashed, I door dashed all day before and made 200 bucks. Uh, Bob G says you should have dashed in the morning and a little bit at lunch. I made an extra 50 and I needed to pay my one of my bills and I was done for the rest of the day and sat around at my house and, and got drunk. <laughs> uh, 
I hear that, brother. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Nate Javel 13 says, This is the most realistic delivery video. Unlike other channels editing every single delivery acting as if they are getting high paying orders left and right but these programs only exist for them to make money the driver just got duped into doing them thinking they'll earn more kind of like stacked orders stack orders are the biggest scam um reggie says this is how it uh, it's done on saturday and sundays how you doing reggie nice to see you now let me just see if that's all the comments to see if I, i'm finished with them oh, wait a minute there's, a, there's two more. Thomas Hudson says that $32 might have been even more because they showed me that upfront tip was pretty rare. I would have done it accepting it uh, that I had a donut tire on my car. And at the time, I could only do a little short run while I was waiting for the tire to come in. I definitely don't think the acceptance rate, rate, he says, I definitely don't think the acceptance rate matters. There's a lot of things that the platform algorithm considers one thing it considers is sending you the order the orders of regular people then from there i think it goes to proximity to a restaurant i don't think it's any exact science to it or anything i got an order today for 32 for 10 miles they didn't they why didn't the top dashy get that one probably because i was right by the restaurant and it's hard to say my acceptance rate right now is like nine percent so you would have thought somebody else would have got that order if at all priority stuff is really real uh now you know look it could be a possibility that there was no that there was no drivers there that is a possibility but i'm what i'm trying to say is definitely in my market it does not make a difference at all on the acceptance rate it doesn't because eventually the orders are still going to come in for you. They, they will. You just have to be patient. Um, okay, let me just see. Is that all of them? Yeah, okay, that is all of them. All right, so I wanted to finish off the video by saying this, that, um, you know, you all of us, all of you need to do your own research, your own testing. Also, you know, listen to my channel as well and others that are truthful. Get away from all of the fluff or nutter channels, the ones that are trying to tell you make this and make that. Most of you know how to make money. You don't have to be taught to make money. It's it's a simple thing. You you pick up a delivery and you go deliver it. But you have to make a decision what is what you want to take at the time. Okay, do I take this or do I not take it? Sometimes you might want to take one that's less money and more miles if it's positioning you into a better area. Yeah, you can do that, but don't do it all the time because the algorithm will pick up on that. And, you know, I mean, everything's a crapshoot. It really is. Uh, people are reporting all types of different things, all in different markets. The whole the markets are chaotic, crazy, and I don't believe that everyone's being truthful either. I think there's a lot of pe liars, especially some channels that are lying about stuff because they want to get their their AdSense Google AdSense account up so they can make the money. Okay, there's that factor, and then you have trolls and everything else. You just have to beware and be vigilant and expect. Some major slowdowns, folks, in the next few months um, and try to do some other forms of work or other apps possibly that uh, that you know. Like, for instance, I'm going to be doing Amazon Flex in the morning times on a lot of these days because the morning I used to be able to make 100 bucks from 7 to like 12 or 1 o'clock. I can't even do that anymore. I'm, I'm lucky to make 20 30 40 dollars for five hours. So on Amazon Flex, I could pick a $115 block, a five-hour block, and work from 6 to like 10.30 or 11.30, whatever. And then I could end my day and say, go home, right? Or what I do is go home for a while. Look at this. Here's another one. This is a trip radar. $5.07 for 8.2 miles. No thanks. Now that will come through in a minute probably. That's the trip radar. They'll force it through on my, on my uh, phone probably before i end this video if not but that's what usually happens but anyways just um you know think of creative ways to make money um do newer things uh try you know if you can get a w-2 job definitely start making exit strategies 
out of the economy, but don't totally get out of it 100% because you want to have one foot in these apps. And you know why? In case we have class action suits that we win so the drivers can get back the money that these companies have stolen from us and ripped us off. You know, we, we've got two things against us. We've got companies against us and we've got the government against us. The government has gone rogue. They are, they've gone enemy on the people, okay? And so they're allowing the courts to be corrupt and the legislation and all that. But that doesn't mean everything and everyone is corrupt. There are some good people. But you still have to hold your head up high and still fight the good fight. If Even if you lose, at least you tried. To sit down and lay down and do nothing is not an option. It's not. You know, get into the fight. Start being an activist in your community. Go to town hall meetings and talk about stuff like this. Say, hey, we have delivery drivers in our town and, uh, you know, we're not making enough money. And, and start a local thing, a grassroots effort. And then, that, and then move on to that and then start picketing, start calling up news organizations. You know, bust their balls. If they don't want to talk, keep calling them back until they do. Call up new, uh, newspaper articles and, 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 and post on Reddit uh, for, forums and just get more of the word out. Expose these people as frauds, which they are. If they're frauding you, they lied to you, they cheated, they st stole, what, are you going to let them just keep doing it? I mean... You got to fight back, folks. Remember that. The answers start with you. Remember that. All right. So this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for listening. I hope this was informative. I hope, uh, you know, it was maybe a little entertaining for you. But that's not why I'm here, folks. I'm here to try to help you <laughs> and try to help everyone make better than fair wages. We need to make a push because if we don't do it now, we're going to get really walked on even worse. All right, until next time, folks, thanks for listening. I will catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.